welcome to Watercolor by Scarlet Demon. Today we're going to talk about an alternative to masking fluid. Now, we've already talked about using a wax resist, which is using a wax crayon or a candle. But today I want to talk about another option. If you find that masking fluid is too expensive or it's too finicky, or you find that you just have too much of a large area to cover, clear tape may be your answer. When choosing a clear tape, you want to make sure it's not going to destroy your paper. So test it on a small corner of your paper or on, a, on one of these little, these little test sheets. You want to push nice and hard because you don't want the paint to come out. So what we're doing is we're creating a mask. Now, coming back with color. I'm trying to brush into the center and not out towards the edge because you don't want to be pushing the paint underneath. Voila. Now this is a really neat thing if you've got something large you're doing and you just, you, you know, masking fluid is very expensive and it's very tedious, it's, it's not good on your brushes, it's a lot of work to cover a large piece, but if you're able to use uh, tape, just clear tape, it will make the whole process so much easier. You could also take the tape and cut directly down the middle. And you can paint this in solid, obviously, as we did in the first one. Or you could randomly paint some bits and pieces. That's pretty neat. Now you could do that. Um, you could use this if you were making a tree, obviously, or perhaps a snake, or if you were doing different pebbles or um, I mean, I'm sure you guys can imagine all the different possibilities. Now simply peel the tape off. I can put this back onto the board and just leave it here for next time. Next time that I want a tree perhaps in this shape. Again. So here we have the positive, the centerpiece. And in this case, we could, we could paint around it this way. I hope you enjoyed this little trick and I will see you in tomorrow's tutorial. Toodaloo!